Hey guys, Chris here for Tool Man's Guitars and Basses. In today's Guitar Tech Tips, we'll discuss series and parallel humbucker wirings and compare those to a chorus split humbucker. In this series, I want to show you how to fix the most common issues and how to set up your guitars and basses without too many special tools. Many of us guitar players want to have a single coil like tone out of humbuckers, but don't want to get that single coil hum. A parallel wiring is a great alternative to coil splitting, so let's check out how it compares. In case you enjoy Guitar Tech Tips, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. Standard wiring for humbuckers is series. This will give you a big and mid-range heavy tone. If you wire the coils of the same pickup in parallel, you'll get a little less volume and a way clearer tone, much like some beefier sounding single coil pickups. Pros of a parallel wiring is that you don't have that single coil hum since both coils are still active. It's still a humbucker. You also don't lose that much volume as when you're splitting the coils of the same humbucker. The only con is that even though it gets close to a coil split tone, it's just not the same thing. It sounds a little bit different. It's not worse, it's just a little different. It's of course up to you to decide which one you prefer. Before we start soldering and testing things, there are a few terms you should know about. The coils of a humbucker are called north and south coil. Both have two wire ends. They start in the end. This is literally where the wire starts and then after a few thousand turns, where it ends. You have to connect these wires in certain ways to have a series or a parallel wiring. This is how you wire a humbucker in series. This is a low layer pickup and their color code is black for hot, which is the north start, then red and white get soldered together. These are the north end and south end and the green wire goes together with the bare wire to ground. This is the south start. In order to change this to a parallel wiring, I have to separate the red and white wires. The white one, the north end, goes to ground and the red one, which is the south end, goes to the hot wire on the input lug of the volume pot. The most beloved way of switching between series and parallel wirings is with a push-pull pot. I'll put the schematics on screen in case you want to try it out and I'll put a really cool article from Lolar in the description box under this video where they discuss this exact subject. And now it's time for a test ride. I play the same thing with the neck pickup in series, parallel and coil split. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions left. I'd also love to know what you want to see in this series. Don't be afraid of setting up and fixing your guitars yourself. It's time to become your own guitar tech. 